The shipping industry is doubling down, building mega ships. Morgan Brennan explains. Call it the dawn of a new era for shipping, as a mammoth vessel calls at several West Coast ports this week. It's the CMA CGM Benjamin Franklin, an ultra-large container vessel that is by far the biggest to ever arrive at a North American port. Flying under the British flag, it has capacity for 18,000 containers, about double the average ship calling at the port of L.A., where it made its first U.S. stop last weekend. To put its sheer size in perspective, the Benjamin Franklin is longer than the Empire State Building is tall, wider than a football field, and when fully stacked, reaches 20 stories high. But experts say the advent of such supersized vessels also brings supersized challenges. While the uh, larger vessels obviously give the carriers um, greater economies of scale, uh, we've seen before that these uh, mega vessels can definitely test uh, the, the marine terminals and the uh, inland infrastructure. There's always the threat of congestion, and that means uh, delayed shipments and imports for consumers as well if uh, that supply chain uh, gets some kinks in it. Laden with imports from China, including apparel, furniture, and electronics, the Benjamin Franklin is making a test run, first to L.A. and then later this week to Oakland, California. French shipping line CMA CGM, which operates the vessel, says it was not loaded to full capacity, only about 70 percent utilized, in part because U.S. ports are not yet ready for these supersized ships. Even L.A., which after a decade of planning, is the closest. Maritime consultant Drury recently warned that more of these massive vessels and the flood of containers they bring could overwhelm docks and inland operations at the West Coast ports, making the East Coast more attractive to shippers who may prefer to divert cargo to ports that can process it faster. Still, the expectation is more of these supersized ships like the Benjamin Franklin will start to enter the Trans-Pacific trade routes in coming years because they are very fuel efficient and they dramatically cut overhead costs for the container shipping lines. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan.